Hey guys, today we're going to be um, talking about some different items that are involved in differentiation. And before we get started, I actually want you to pause the video right away and take a moment to read um, your understandings 1.1.5 to 1.1.7 and think about what you know, what questions you have. Um, you can write down the questions you have and also write down what is one use of stem cells that you're familiar with. All right, now that you've considered what we're going to be learning about today, we can get started. So thinking back to earlier in our unit, we talked about the fact that unicellular organisms perform all of the functions of life in a single cell, so they retain the ability to exchange gases, to digest nutrients, etc. Um, but multicellular organisms are made up of highly specialized cells that perform a specific function. And so what this means is that each of those cells has given up the ability to do one or more jobs to do a job better. For example, um, heart cells, uh, they are not great at digesting nutrients or at moving gases, but they were made to beat and to pump blood through the heart through the body. Um, so they have developed this very specialized process. Uh, the process of specialization can also be called differentiation. And this is the process by which a less specialized cell becomes a more specialized cell type. Um, I will show you this video called rapid differentiation in class um, when we get back to this topic. So in a multicellular organism, every cell that contains a nucleus also contains a complete set of DNA for that organism. It contains the genes to do anything and to become anything, but differentiated cells, they use only part of that genome in their development. So though they contain the same genome as every other cell, their physical characteristics are much different. In the process of differentiation, physical structure is very, very important, and it helps, um, it helps with the function of the cell. So every cell has a different shape, a different look, a different texture, um, different numbers of mitochondria, uh, different numbers of nuclei even. Um, so as we see, here are several different human cells, not the paramecium, but the others, um, and they all have a very different structure because they have different functions. They have specialized physically to perform a special job, even though, like I said, they contain a complete set of DNA. Um, in a multicellular organism, the organism does increase its efficiency overall by differentiating its cells. So having a cell do one job rather than many makes the whole organism more efficient. However, we have to keep in mind that a specialized cell is now completely dependent on the function of the organism as a whole. Now that these cells have specialized, they are not able to survive on their own. So in a way, becoming more efficient has limited them as individuals. Okay, now that we've discussed differentiation and kind of what it is, we're going to see why it's important and what some of the uses are. And I want to just take a quick look at understanding 1.1.7. It says the capacity of stem cells to divide and differentiate along different pathways is necessary in embryonic development and also makes stem cells suitable for therapeutic uses. So when an egg is fertilized, the two nuclei from mom and dad fuse to create one single cell with an entire genome. Um, that cell then begins to divide, and early on in development, those cells do not differentiate. They retain the capacity to um, specialize or differentiate until the embryo has grown older. Um, so the important thing to keep in mind is that embryonic cells um, are very flexible and can be used for therapeutic uses and these are things that we're currently researching and starting to use um, but there are some ethical issues involved which we'll discuss later. Alright, so stem cells can be found in all multicellular organisms. They are able to divide through mitosis um, stem, you know, stem cells retain the capacity to divide over time and after division, they are able to differentiate into any of the specialized cells of the bottom, 
of the body, sorry. Um, we do have two kind of categories of stem cells. We have embryonic stem cells. Like I said, these are um, being developed in the embryo. They have not specialized. They retain the ability to, to divide and to specialize into any um, of the systems of the body. And then we have adult stem cells. And adult stem cells are not as flexible. For example, bone marrow is an example of an adult stem cell, and it can become a large number of different cells, such as a red blood cell or any of the different types of white blood cells, but it could not become like a nerve cell or a skin cell. It has some flexibility, but not unlimited. It can't become any cell of the body. Along with our categories of adult and embryonic stem, stem cells, we also have three terms that really define the flexibility of the stem cells. Um, the first is totipotent. A totipotent stem cell is one that can become any cell of the human body, and it can become a cell that is part of the amniotic sac or amniotic fluid. So it can become a cell of the developing fetus or of the tissue surrounding that fetus. So it's like completely flexible. It can become anything involved with the growth and development of that fetus. A pluripotent stem cell is still considered an embryonic stem cell. And at this point, it, be it can become any cell of the developing fetus, but not of the um, exterior tissues. So it won't be a part of the amniotic sac or anything like that, just of the embryo. And then lastly, we have multipotent stem cells. Multipotent stem cells are um, basically adult stem cells. So they still retain the capacity to differentiate to some extent, but it's within you know one system or one type of cell that they will differentiate. Um, we will be discussing this more. We'll be discussing some of the therapeutic uses and some of the ethics um, around this topic. Please read the Power to Divide and complete your LAPS worksheet for that, and we'll talk more in class. Thanks.